Welcome to Midsummer Railway. We're here with my mate Dave and we're here at Morwell. Now Morwell is a long way from where I live, about two hours drive and um, we're at the train show which is the first one here for four years. Um, it's a biannual train show and because of the big show stopper um, this is the first one. And it's wet and windy but it's glad to be back it's quite a while as Greg said what it would it be four years yeah, three four years, years four, four years, years. Yep, well, so we were, we were here four years ago yep we're looking forward to seeing some good layouts and seeing if there's any baggings <laughs> and it's really good to be back oh it's fantastic and as I, I was going to say bloody cold it is bloody cold yep <laughs> <laughs> and I'm an Englishman oh I've seen you on um YouTube's on the wonderful world of webs and thank you very much it's been great well thank you Neil I really appreciate that yeah. and you've got a little be, am I going to be famous now yeah am I going to get commission no <laughs> I don't get commission so so you've got a little bit of stuff over yeah yeah um there's I don't know what you call it there's a large layout in the middle um there's some in scale and a lot of HO scale but it's worth having a look at Okay, thank you. Have a good day, mate. Thank you. <laughs> and you've got a layout as well as the store here, the building, is that right? Uh, no, I actually own a bike store. Oh, do um, you? So, yeah, I'm a giant um, retailer, so I sell push bikes. Right. But um, this is my hobby. Um, right. And then a couple of these little things are just the things that I like to build on weekends. And cool. Yeah, Fantastic. Well, you'll be on YouTube. Thanks. Thank you. Um, the water in the cabinet is DC. It's just DC only. DC and it's sort of a box and everything. No, that's why it's two miles. Okay, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. It's around 95. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh, well, yeah. Well, if it had a box and stuff like that, I'd probably have it for 120 or something like that. No worries. Thanks very much. No worries, man. You'd probably find a box too online. Yeah. Well, have you got something? Because I've only got my backpack and I'm lost all day. I've got a bit of. Um, and I, what I bought it in was a, um, I could find some bubble wrap. It's probably something a little bit stronger. Stronger than that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you do need a box, don't you? Um, let me have well, a... If I was to pay for it now, would you ask that one on to the end of the day? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and you guys got the as well. All right. Yeah, five dollars each for the little one. Yep. yep. So, yeah, it's camping out railway station. Probably, maybe... 15 years ago I started um, putting that together there because of the West Coast Rail equipment that was um, being available to buy. So, um, oh, wow. yeah, that's that's the old station building that doesn't exist no more, that's oh, been pulled down in real life. Yeah. That, that building's still right. there, that's the original right. station building which is all V-line now. Um, but yeah, and even in the toilets, like I've lifted the lid or the roof off the toilet building and I got a little bit carried away inside in there too. You can the urinals and yeah. uh, all those little bits and pieces in there. So. Well, some of my work buildings have got people and bars and things like that. Uh, it's just something that um, you know, a bit of quiet time and. Oh yeah, I love me lights. Thank you very much. Good on you. Um, did you grab it and pop it aside? No, I just put it to $20. Oh, yeah. Take the L as well. The L as well.
Thank you. You know I want that one over there. I want it. Uh, controls. That's what I need to say. I've got that one already. Sorry. Oh, it's a Zeppelin Mark car. One. They built that in the mid 1930s. What time? Is it and it's got an aeroplane engine on the back. No bogey drives. And they've wound that up to 163 miles an hour back in the mid 30s. Wow. Yeah, this is all Mark Van Hamo. That one is the great, 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 great grandfather of your velocity trains. Right. What they learned from that, they sort of put afterwards uh, into the flying hamburger and all those sort of things. And they, uh, Henschel in Germany built a lot of these modern uh, velocity cars. Right. Anyway, Henschel, uh, the old man died and the kids didn't want to take it on. So they sold uh, Henschel to Bombardier of Canada. So all of these uh, velocity trains are Bombardier Henschel. But they've dropped the name Henschel now, it's just straight out Bombardier. Oh, oh well, thank you. Um, you're a wealth of knowledge. Well, I was born in Germany, and uh, I came out here as an 11 year old. Yeah. And I was born in uh, Christmas uh, 41. So uh, Dad was in Russia with a transport regiment. So whenever he came back home to Germany, Mum would uh, go and chase him. <laughs> all over there. So uh, anyway, I used to go on a lot of the trains there and I can still, uh, when I see some of the trains there, it brings back memories. And uh, after the war there, I saw uh, 44 class steam locomotive there. And I used to see those, I lived in the city of Mainz. And on um, either side of the Rhine, they had all these railway lines. And yet, from the one we were on there, you could see the coal drags coming in from up north. 244 class locomotives that were slugging away there, down at walking pace. And this particular place, there was a bridge there, a road went underneath it, and they had these embankments. So the people would be waiting there at the start of the embankment there, climb on board the um, carriages with bags, fill them all up full of um, coal, so then then further up there, the mates would be waiting there, chuck them over the side. Yeah. Thank you. That's, that's fascinating. Well, I've been back to Germany twice. Right. The first time was in 78. Took my wife and kids there via America and uh, went to see some of my relatives still over there. And we went on a TE Express that went from the Hague of uh, the Hook of Holland all the way down to Italy. Yeah. And it was um, towed by a 103 class locomotive. And in those days they were just coming in, these 103s there. And they had one of them there that was designed and geared for well about 250 kilometres an hour. Oh wow, that's And cool. one of them they built later on, strengthened everything so much that it was capable of 14,000 horsepower for only a short period. Right. Oh wow. And anyway, this one was, uh, train was uh, being pulled by the 103. So we <coughs> were getting on board at the um, train in Mainz and it only stopped there for two minutes. So a door opened there, threw the baggage in there, threw the kids in there and the wife and I just got onto the step there as she started to move. <laughs> Otherwise they don't wait. Yeah. They're out of luck. <laughs> Sorry, Travis? Travis? Tom? Tom's Brian. there. Brian, he's looking well. Hi. Nice to meet you. Tom. Don't be shy. 
Tom, Tom went to school with Steve. Oh, right. Tom's never shy. Yeah. So this is what I'll be doing on the uh, 20. Driving the diesel. Oh, well, I'll be behind looking intelligent, I would imagine, on the 20th. Yep. Yeah. Yep, as part of my 60th birthday present. That's fantastic. So, on the Walhalla train. Wow. The Wal yeah. Yep. Walhalla Goldfield train. As long as, like, getting involved in being a part of the next play, the event where you go, right, I'll, I'll have you available. Oh, look, if, if I did it, I would be, I would be very yeah. interested. But just at the moment, and I don't want to sort of uh, half do it. If I do it, I want to do it properly. So yeah. at the moment... Uh, oh, my name's Mark Peterson, and this is my uh, Japanese engage line, Ketsura Valley Railway. Thank you. Please enjoy. How many years of work, man? About 18 months. Victorian. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I belong to the um, Victorian Ed Scale Collective. Yeah, you seem to get more Ed Scale into a smaller, smaller space. Oh yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. And there's a lot more. There's a lot more happening in the end, in the end Scale. It is as, now. As yeah. what it used to be years and years ago. Yeah. You'd have to go and get something, you know, butcher it, cut it with a... Yeah, I'm on this scale. Too small for me and scale. This is HO. Yeah, I'm HO. Actually, actually, at my age, end scale's getting very small. Yeah. <laughs> I used to be able to just get it, plonk it on the track and then it'd be right, but now it's... Yeah. Because he's, as he said, he's got end scale. I love it. Yep. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's fantastic. Well, I have enough trouble with HO, with fiddly bits. With, yeah. I, I couldn't handle them. Yep. I've just... Not that I don't like it, it's brilliant. A model railway is a model railway yeah. to me. It's great. But this is brilliant. We try and do our best. Yeah. yeah no, How many's in your club? Uh, about 20 of us. Yeah. And do you all build sections of it? Or? Yeah. 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 Yeah, they're all modules. Yes, I could, yeah. From there to there. And how do you click them together underneath? Bolt them together. Yeah, I mean, so sorry, it's got a, the tracks. The tracks? Yeah. Just click in the wire, just click wires. Yeah. All underneath. So there's actually a very tiny gap. Yep. It's wired. Yeah. I've got a wire from here.
set it all up yet last night. It was all running well, and I don't know if that's all. Yeah, yeah. I've had a set of points here. Yeah. 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 Similar speed, similar speed to the... Nice buildings. I'm guessing they're probably Kibui or um, Bella. Yeah. This is uh, three rail um, using the Mark One Central system to control it. Yes. Um, so yeah, we've got all the points electrified, which is all via a touchpad. Yes. Yeah, we made this one three rail because we've got some members that are do have three rail, including yourself. Um, and you don't here in Australia, in particular, you don't see a lot of three rail stuff. Correct. At yeah. exhibitions. Um, so yeah, we've decided. A bit selfishly to do it for ourselves. Uh, the second one was because we built that one at the same time. So oh. these two layouts are five weeks old. Oh, right. Sorry, five weeks old? Yes. That was started on the 30th of April this year, that layout. This one was started on the 1st of May. Yeah. So we've gotten them from nothing to this stage in that top amount of time. Cool. How, many is there, how many of them are there? Uh, there's 30. 35 or 37 members in the club at the moment. Um, but yeah, so we decided, yep, we've got enough material that we can do it if we pull our fingers out and do it, because we had a couple of other layouts pull out and we've had two pull out yesterday. Yeah. So we would have had a couple of extra, extra here, so we had to rearrange things, so that's why the map and the book won't match up with anything. But yeah, so we've got the stuff. We pull our fingers out. We, you know, we can make a decent effort of it. Um, obviously, the next time anybody sees it in, in public, these will be up to a better standard than what they are now. Well, but, given uh, given that it's only that short a time, yes, it's a pretty good effort. That's yeah. 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 Well, so you're the the troll Valley. I'm the president of the club. Yes. All right. Uh, yeah, I 
I went, I went once. Yeah, well, you sh you'll have to come back down because we have had quite a few different changes at the club. We've got, uh, there's over 700 metres of HO track down yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. In, in the two main layouts that we've got. Um, you know, it's hard for people to, and I'm pretty talkative, but, you know, there wasn't a lot of effort. It's, it's a bit sad because I really want it, especially I live in Druid. Yeah. So I'm not like... All right, I'm going to
These two are common, yes. so the, it's really easy for rolling stock because um, uh, the axle can be coming across or it can be split, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Richard can't run these off. My mate's uh, Mark Lynn. And that's my comic layout for tomorrow. Oh, wow.
on its way to Ukraine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I've just had a good chat. Yeah, they got quite a few for that.
Thank you for watching Midsummer Railway in scale. I hope you enjoyed today's program. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon for all. Please stay safe. Let's ride these rails together and take care.